We all know I love talking about Ipsy and BoxyCharm. The subscription service videos are some of my favorites to do, and I think they're some of your guys' favorites to watch. So this morning my mom actually texted me and was like, hey, they released the September 2020 spoilers for both Ipsy and BoxyCharm. I was like, cool, let's talk about them. So these are not all the products available, but these are a look at some of the things that are possibly going to receive for your September subscription services. I do have the regular, the standard bag, the plus and the ultimate for Ipsy. And then I have just the standard for BoxyCharm. I don't have the ultimate for BoxyCharm. So let's take a look. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the products, talk about what each one is. And then I'll give you guys like a quick summation of like my feelings and which ones I would like to receive and which ones like what I think, it, if they think it's good or not. Cool. Game plan, go. Go team, let's do this. All right, first we're gonna start with the standard Ipsy bag. So the first thing that they have, as my emails pop up, uh, the first thing that we have is the Pore Professional from Benefit Cosmetics. Um, it's their Hydrate Primer. I do know this sample because I received it a lot. Personally, I love this product, but the samples are very tiny. So just that is something to think about. Then we have a nice uh, little version of the Big Ego from Tarte Cosmetics. It is a black mascara. We have uh, Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen Duo in Black Caviar and Bronze Beam. Then we have this adorable little palette from PYT Beauty. It's the Day to Night Eyeshadow in Cool. Comes with two really pretty matte shades and two really pretty shimmer shades. For some reason, I look at this, I know we're in the September bag, but for some reason I look at this palette and I just think New Year's. I don't know why. Um, but I just, that's what it reminds me of. I think it's really adorable though. Um, then we've got the Skin Regimen Cleansing Cream. Um, we've got a Pure Lee Youth Glow Vitamin CC Cream. And then we have two more, I think, yeah. The Shayna B Miami Contour Brush and a nice little Pacifica Desert Sunset Matte Blush and Bronzer Duo. Personally, I think there's a lot of great options. I don't know if um, these spoilers are gonna be what we have to choose from or if they're just things that are potentially gonna be in the bag. Personally, for me, I think the Pacifica one, I would definitely want. The Shayna B Miami contour brush, I don't really use that kind of a contour brush very often, but I do like Shayna B's brushes. We've gotten a couple from Ipsy in the past and I really have enjoyed them. The Pure Lee CC Cream with SPS 50 is great, I think, especially in the middle of summer. I mean, I know September, you're kind of leaving the summertime, but it's never bad that you have face sunscreen. The cleansing cream is something that's kind of like meh to me, but it's not a bad product. The, the PYT Beauty Day to Night eyeshadow set is definitely what I would pick. If I had the option to pick it, that's hands down what I would get. I've heard great things about PYT and I've not used them yet, so I think that's adorable. Uh, the eyeliners I'm not really a fan of. The mascara is kind of whatever for me, um, but still I love Tarte, so it's not a bad thing. And then like I said, the Benefit Pore Professional Hydrating Primer. It's one of my favorite primers actually, especially if you've got a lot of really big pores and you're trying to find that kind of nice um, filling uh, primer that's gonna go in and smooth, give you that glassy texture to your skin. It's a great option. It's just a very small sample because I, I have used it in the past. So, All right, so that's the standard bag. I don't have a picture of the standard bag. It's the only one I don't have a picture of. Um, I'm assuming it's something velvety because of the other ones and I'll show you guys those. But yeah, I do not unfortunately have a picture of that one that I found. Uh, the next one, I actually had to go to mysubscriptionaddict.com to find the um, options for the plus. But this is what the plus bag looks like. <laughs> it reminds me of a Santa sack. I don't know why, it's like a, the velvety and then they get the little, it's red and it just, I saw it and I was like, oh, Santa. I don't know, it's how my brain works. It's not It's not normal, but it is what it is. Uh, we've got a Yenza Silk Bronzer brush. It's a base and bronzing brush. Personally, not something I would probably choose if I had the option to, but whatever. Uh, then we've got the Go-To Skincare Fancy Face Oil Cleanser. I've never tried the brand or uh, this kind of a cleanser before, but it definitely seems like something that might be interesting. It's supposed to not strip your skin because of the oil, it's supposed to leave it healthier. So I think it's a cool concept. Uh, then we've got the Gold Fadden MD Mist RX Daily Nutrient Facial Mist. I'm not really a huge facial mist person, but the Manicadar one has kind of like turned me into one. So I think it might be interesting to try it. We have a Beauty Blender from the original Beauty Blender. As many sponges as I own, I actually have never tried one from Beauty Blender, like from the brand, because they're like $20 a piece and I'm just entirely too cheap for all that. So I think that would be a cool thing to receive just because I have never tried anything from the actual Beauty brand. brand. So we've got Avant Skincare 
glycolic acid, I think I said that right, or I didn't, maybe, I don't know, who knows, the mystery continues. Rejuvenating face exfoliator. Um, this is probably one that I wouldn't really care about getting, but I wouldn't hate getting it either. I do like Avant. Um, we've gotten a couple products from them, so I'm not opposed to that. But I would much prefer if I'm gonna get something from them to get the Avant Skincare Collagen Intense Radiance Activator Serum. I've been using serums like crazy, and um, I think the Collagen Intense, the idea of it's gonna go in and like tighten and give you that like extra bounce to your skin, I like that a lot. That, they, they, that, that works for me. Then we do have a cute little palette, the uh, Seraphine Botanicals Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Really cute colors. Honestly, as much as I love palettes, especially looking at that cute little one in the, the PYT one that comes in the standard bag, I probably would not necessarily choose this just because I feel like a lot of the shades are, like almost four of the shades are identical. Like, I can't even read that. Fugri maybe, Carob, Pecan, and uh, Chicory all look like the shades that kind of came in that little PYT one. I do love silver though, that's gorgeous. Um, I like all the colors, I just think that there's kind of like an overlay. So if I were to get the little one in, in the PYT one in my standard bag, I might want something different for my plus, but that's just, I digress, just a, just a thought. I do kind of like that they're matching you know, if that makes sense. Like the, the bags seem like they're kind of cohesive. So yeah, not very makeup heavy though. A lot of skincare stuff. So I will say that. Um, and then we'll go to the ultimate. Now I personally am not subscribed to the ultimate, but I figured you guys are looking for spoilers. I'm gonna give you what I got. I'm gonna give you all the information I have. This is the bag for the ultimate. It, it <laughs> this one reminds me of Gryffindor. It, it's what it looks like. It, it, one looks like a Santa bag and one looks like Gryffindor, but it, here we are. Then we've got the Gold Fadden MD Brightening Elixir. It is a repair and brightening serum. I think that's great. You've got the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. I think that's great. You've got this precious little Kaja Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. I love that it's like a little stackable trio palette. Love that, love, ad adorable. You've got a Natural Lab Tokyo Shampoo, Conditioner, and Treatment Trio. I love that it's a trio. I think that's great. You have this beautiful Zoeva Caramel Melange? Mel Melang? Melange? I don't know. I, I'm Pronunciation's not my thing. Eyeshadow palette, gorgeous colors. Once again, still kind of keeping with that like nice toasted brown feels. Um, I do really like it a lot and I haven't tried anything from Zoeva even though I wanted to. This is huge for me. This is the Julep Cushion Complexion Concealer. This concealer is one of my favorites out there. I, I freaking love it. I almost said a bad word. I love it so much. It is one of my favorites. When Julep does their sales, if I'm running low on it, I'll buy like four or five just because I use it all the time. Um, I, I don't know what to say about it other than I absolutely love it. Um, this is, let me see, there's two that they have. I've used both and I like both of them. Uh, this is, I believe, the one that has turmeric in it. The one that has turmeric in it is my favorite. If it's, the other one is still really great. It's just not, it, I don't love it as much, but there's, both of them are high quality concealers and I very much recommend them if you haven't tried them. Then we've got the LA Muse Deep Color Lip Balm in Poppy, which I think is a really gorgeous color. I honestly, I am not subscribed to the Ipsy Ultimate. This, this spoiler, looking at it, made me wanna go sign up for it. I, this was my favorite of all the options of everything. BoxyCharm, I'm about to show you guys BoxyCharm, but BoxyCharm included. These, I really, really enjoyed those, per, that particular set of spoilers. I still haven't decided I'm not going to go in and get it because I really do. Um, I really do want some of the stuff that is included in there. I think even like the hair treatments, we don't normally get hair stuff, but it comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, and a fixing agent. That's how I'm feeling about that. Um, the spoilers should inspire to, you to like want to go try it out, and that's absolutely what the ultimate spoilers for me did. So I was like, which is pretty impressive because I think after after they changed Plus, it was kind of like, all right, so Plus now you get to choose three of your five items. Like, what are you gonna do with Ultimate then? I, it made me want to get it. What are you gonna do? Anywho's, let's go on to Boxy Charm. Boxy Charm only included a couple options. I'm wondering if this is for the base box. I'm wondering if um, 
this is what you get to choose like if this is gonna be your choice because they only gave you a couple little looks into it but I, I may be wrong it may just be like these are just their little looks this is also on my subscription addict.com I did not see it on their website so this is it was just it was easy somebody else did the work for me sorry um so you've got the Huda Beauty that is the matte and metal matte and metal melted double ended liquid eyeshadows gorgeous i love i swear by by liquid eyeshadows i was not a fan of them for a very long time i haven't used hiddos but i do like her formulas for most of her makeup so i think i would probably really enjoy them gorgeous colors you can see you've got nice shades of purple pink like a golden bronze a nice light pink champagne color and then you've got uh, this Gordon kind, gorgeous kind of like golden brown love. I, I, if I have received any one of them, I would be thrilled. So um, I love it. I just absolutely love the whole idea of it. The fact that you get a matte and a shimmer. I think it's, I think it's brilliant. Um, and it kind of made me, even if I don't get one, I kind of want to go buy one just to test it out. So, yes. The next thing we have is this is the Hip Dot Zion palette. I actually own this palette, so I figured just to give you guys a little look-see at it, this is what it looks like. Um, I did buy the, um, over Memorial Day, they did a big sale at Hip Dot. They did 25% off. I bought the big bundle set that came with five palettes, five of their best-selling palettes, and the Zion was one of them in it. So I do already have it, but it really is a gorgeous neutral palette. You get purples, you get some pinks, you get some browns and some orangey browns. Very workable. I think this is something that a lot of people could use. I know I told my mom, I was like, you know, if I get it in my boxy charm, then I'll probably give it to you because obviously I already have it. I could throw it in the giveaway pile, but we've got a pretty good stack of stuff saved up for giveaways. So I think I'd probably give it to my mom first just because I know she doesn't have anything from Hip Dot and she's talked about trying it. Um, but yeah, I was like that. Yes, like I love that. Um, and then the last thing that they included in the spoiler, this is a really bad picture. I apologize for that. But this is the Almar Cosmetics Spanglish Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like it comes with four matte shades and four really very pigmented glitter shades. Uh, the three of the glitter shades are like a purpley color. And then you got one nice light brown. And then you've got like kind of a, an orangey brown, a, a beige brown, I guess you would call it like a darker beige brown, a kind of vibrant magenta pink type color and then like a peachy color so yeah um i like that as well yeah with this one i don't know it's hard i would i would be fine getting any of them including the hip dot one that i already have just because i know this val this is valued at like 35 dollars i think 34 35 dollars and um yeah i would be fine giving it to my mom too so um i would obviously prefer to get something that i haven't gotten in before but it's not their fault that I have a problem and I buy too much makeup, so they can't. I like I like what they've included. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I think, honestly, <laughs> as funny as it sounds and as excited as I was about the new uh, Ipsy Plus, the one that I was least impressed with based on the items that we were given as options for the spoilers would be the Plus. So we'll see how it all works out. I was really very satisfied with being able to pick out exactly what I wanted for the um, the plus this past month for August. I can't wait to get the box and see what it looks like and what our bags look like and all that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me talk about the, uh, the spoilers. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what boxes and bags do you think are going to be the best? What items did you really like? What are you excited about? What are you hoping for? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel out an absolute ton. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please join the, consider joining the Dark Angel family. You don't have to. I'm not going to force you to. But uh, we'd love if you did decide to join the Dark Angel family. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and uh, be part of our little Dark Angel world. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and you stay girly with a dark twist.